Hey guys, welcome back. We are live in the Rachel Ray Show Prep Kitchen. I'm Jeanette. This is my friend Grant. Hello. And today we're celebrating the holidays. We are only five days away from Christmas and we've got um, some really kind of fun things to show you today with only five days left to Christmas. I know that I'm not done with my Christmas shopping yet. Are you? Uh, I don't think, I, don't, I guess if I can't answer the question, it's probably a no. <laughs> <laughs> I still have some more um, things to buy, but we're going to show you two things that you can make out of stuff with, uh, stuff that's in your pantry that you can give as gifts to your friends and family. Yeah. So, um, Grant's got a really fun one, I've got a fun one. We're both going to show you some of our favorite holiday traditions for, uh, the holidays. So, um, make sure, as always, we love hearing from you guys. Make sure to comment and let us know what are some of your holiday traditions, um, what are some of your favorite food gifts to give people. Where where are you guys watching from? Maybe we just want to say hi. So make sure to comment in, and Grant's going to get started on um, his favorite food gift of the season, right? I am, yeah. So these are my dad's, um, we call them Buckeyes. If you're from Ohio, you probably know what that is, but it's basically a little peanut butter ball. Um, it's like a peanut butter fudgy sort of Smell thing, it. and then you dip it in chocolate, and it looks like a Buckeye that would grow on a tree. And what is um, a Buckeye? A Buckeye is like a, a tree nut, kind Okay. Of. Like yeah. an acorn a little but bit? But then like in Ohio State, there's like a sports team called oh, the Buckeyes. Yes. Like there's Buckeye everything. There's like a Brutus the Buckeye. <laughs> there's like a lot of things. So these are um, peanut butter Buckeyes and we make these around um, Christmas time. And they're just like a nice gift to give people. Um, or they're also a great thing to bring to a party. Mm. And you don't have to bake anything, which is super Oh, fun. that is nice. Um, so I'm just going to put a stick of butter into our stand mixer. Um, you could do these by hand if you want, but I like to do it with a stand mixer because I think it's a little bit easier that way. Mm -hmm. um, and a bunch of peanut butter. Um, I use the smooth peanut butter. I guess you could do it with crunchy, but we've only ever done it with smooth. Um, now these are your dad's, these are your dad's famous Yes, recipes? these are Wendell's um, peanut butter Buckeyes. He nice. makes them every single year. Uh, he probably has a bunch of them. He actually likes to make them and like keep them in the freezer. Oh, And you I can like just that. pull them out whenever you want to you know, give them to a friend. Um, so he's probably made a ton of these already mm -hmm. this season, but um, this is his recipe. Now yeah. speaking of the holiday, have any of you guys um, gone onto Instagram and seen Rachel's Christmas decorating? Have, oh we, we've gosh. been talking about it in the office. Yes. She is like, a master yes. at decorating for the holidays. She's like a buddy the elf came to life. She is. Like, she really is. Really is. Right. We're so yeah. impressed with her. She doesn't just cook. That woman can decorate a house. If you guys haven't seen it, go check her out on Instagram. Her, she's got like nine trees or something like that. She has so yeah. many Christmas trees. She does. She has a ton of exactly. trees. Exactly. And then she also, you know, has her apartment here, but then she has the house upstate. She decorates both of them. Like immaculately. Yeah. Crazy. It's so fun. <laughs> really great. We want to say hi to Minerva from Texas. Hi Minerva. Happy holidays. Hello Minerva. Um, and Chris commented, he said hi from Atlanta. He's making brown butter sea salt cookies. Oh yummy. That would Chris, I would love that as a Christmas gift. Can you send some up to New York? That sounds delicious. <laughs> that sounds really do you want me to grab your roast from the oven? Um yeah. Okay, let me take a picture. It might not be done yet. Okay. But you can take a look at it. Um so you can see it comes together super easy. Um, and it's already done. And so then what you do is you grab one of these little scoops. I like have a ton of these at home. You could just use, you know, a regular spoon if you want, but I like these scoops. It makes it a lot easier. Um, cause that way they're all kind of the same shape. And then you just roll it into a ball about that size. You just want it to be like bite size. And then you pop these into the fridge and let them get nice and firm. And then you dip them in chocolate. I have some down here that are firm. Grant, I think our friend Bria, who's normally in here when we're taping Facebook Live, is actually home in Oklahoma right now. She commented and said, hello, Grinette. <laughs> hello, hello, Bria. And she said that her tradition is doing breakfast for dinner. I love that. Oh, Who that doesn't is... love breakfast yeah. for dinner? I like, that's what I, we do Christmas Day. I do a nice brunch with my um, husband's family. And I just, you know, we kind of eat brunch toast all day. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then in here I have some chocolate. This is some dark chocolate, but you can use milk chocolate mm. or just use chocolate chips if you want. And then you pop the little peanut butter balls on a skewer and you cover them like three quarters of the way and then they look like a little buckeye. Now you use a double boiler for this, right? To melt the chocolate? Yeah. Okay. I like you that. could do it in a microwave if you want, but I like to do it over a double boiler because it's easier to control the temperature Makes that nice way. Makes it even and sweet. Yeah, and if you get chocolate too hot, then it can kind of get like chalky and hard. Mm -hmm. So I like to do it on a double boiler like that. It's super easy. Elizabeth commented and she said that she makes fresh apple pie and sugar cookies. Ooh, Ooh pie would be such a nice holiday dish yeah. too. That sounds delicious. Um, now here's some back here that are already done. This is a really great tip, Yay. especially if you're bringing these to somebody's house for a party. I just like to take two mismatched plates. You can go to the dollar store and buy them. You can get them at a vintage store and then these can be a gift. And I just like to take a little bowl, pop it on your plate and then put another plate on top I like that. It. And it looks like a cute little serving platter. I Isn't love that, great? that. It's adorable. And these are Wendell's little Buckeyes. Can I, can I steal one? Yeah. <laughs> Buckeye cheers. Buckeye cheers. Happy holidays guys. And just to remind you guys, all these recipes will be up on the Facebook mm. page later today so you can make Wendell's Buckeyes. Mm. Um, but Jeanette's about to make one of her family traditions, Yeah, right? I am. Oh my gosh, these are so, so delicious. Thank you. Um, okay, yes, yeah, so I'm going to show you mm. how to make, uh, so when I married my husband, Jimmy, I kind of married into his holiday tradition, and this is a tradition that he's done with his mom and his grandmother for so, so many years, 
these are his holiday pecans. Now, mm. if you're a friend or a family member of ours, you look forward to these all year round. And yes. I can't, I'm so excited to show you because they're just so, so simple. Um, so what you do, it's part of our tradition to make it in a garbage bowl. I started working here 10 years ago. I have a garbage bowl at home. We like to whisk it up in a garbage bowl. So fun. I just whisked up um, an egg white. It's really loud to whisk it in the garbage bowl, but uh, an egg white and a little bit of water. Just until it gets a little bit foamy. Oh, yeah. And then um, I just toss in about a pound of pecans. Uh, Maria commented and asked, what did I add to the peanut butter? So the peanut butter mixture is peanut butter, um, butter, and some powdered mm. sugar. And then I put it in a pinch of salt. All the best well. things in life. <laughs> um, Lynn commented and said that she's been cookie, has a cookie decorating. Oh, how nice. And that's how the kids with their friends come Oh, I love that. I yeah, love that, that really tradition. Fun. I'm going to go check on my roast. But okay, go ahead. Those I'm going to keep making uh, the pecans. So I just, I toss them to coat um, in the egg white and a little splash of water. And then I preheat my oven to about 300, 325. You just want it to be um, nice and low because uh, it's funny. Every year I kind of fight with my husband and I'm like I work in a kitchen you should make them hotter and then the one year we made them hotter they burned all over so you do them in a low oven because um, you're using sugar and you don't want that to burn and then um, it's really just three simple ingredients it's about a cup of sugar a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon and then a pinch of salt and that's it it's funny my, our friend Jackie from the art department I just gifted her a little jar of them before we got in here she came in with all these different ingredients she was like is there maple is there brown sugar is there like she was like naming all these things and I was like it's really just three ingredients it's cinnamon sugar and salt it's so so yummy so then I just put that into the pecans and I'm gonna toss that uh, yeah, I know. It smells really yummy. Um, Keisha commented, said that she loves chocolate Ooh, chip cookies. Happy you. holidays, Keisha. Keisha, have you tried Grand's chocolate chip cookie recipe? Ooh, yeah, it's the, the recipe best, is it's the on best recipe. It's the best recipe. Rachel Rachel. <laughs> check it out. Um, and Diva says, Merry Christmas hi, from Florida. Hi, Merry, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. And Kathy says, hi from Ontario. Hi, Kathy. Happy, happy Christmas, Canada. Happy Christmas. <laughs> it's um, also four days till Hanukkah. It is. I know. I love that. I love that they fall um, within the same like couple of days this year. Oh, I think that's my timer for the pecans. Okay. Ooh, so I'm not going to take time. them out of the oven quite yet. I know. That was good timing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I do is I put them on a foil-lined baking sheet. And um, that's very important because when you flip them, you don't want them to get stuck and they are like really kind of sticky when they come out. So you want to evenly distribute those on here. You want to pop them into the oven. And then when you are ready, let me just clear this little space. Or you're going to flip them under there. I'm going to flip them right oh. out and you want to do it immediately after they come out of the other oven. Otherwise, it is a pain in the butt to get them all off the foil. Thank you, Grant, for clearing this All right, so ready? This is a big... Ooh, there we go. Fun. So now I'm telling you, that came off super easy. If you let those go an extra two minutes on this tray, it is a pain in the butt. So now you just let these cool on a little bit a little bit of parchment. My husband and I this year made 26 pounds of pecans How for all of our friends. All of we just took about eight or nine hours wow. and we cover the whole dining room table and a bunch of parchment and some towels so we make sure that nothing gets damaged. And that's it. I'm gonna show you how I package them up which is so nice for a gift, is that my mother-in-law actually makes these little uh, mason jar tops, and then you just hand off a mason jar. I know I've, give, I've given a bunch of people in here, and they are very, very happy. So yes. you guys should try them if you didn't um, finish your Christmas shopping yet. Uh, Mary commented and said that she makes cheese balls for Hi. her family. Yeah. Well, if you love cheese balls, Ooh. on Thursday, Rachel's making, is it four different kinds of cheese balls? Four, yeah. And they we were... love a cheese ball here at the show. Rachel love loves cheese, cheese balls. balls. She makes them all too. Um, so make sure you watch on Thursday because Rachel's making a ton of cheese balls. Mm -hmm. um, and Shasta says hi and hi, Merry Shasta. Christmas from Surrey. What is BC? Surrey, British, British Columbia. Columbia. I was there this summer. I was going to say British Canada, which is not. <laughs> that is Columbia. where British Columbia is. It is where British Columbia is. Geography. Uh, Donna <laughs> says hi from Rhode Island. Hello, Donna. Hello. Um, all right, so now, like I said, so we've showed you, so remember, guys, all of these recipes are going to be available on the Facebook page just a little bit later for Grant's delicious peanut butter Buckeyes, which were so yummy, uh, my husband Jimmy's um, holiday pecans. So now we're going to show you two things that um, we're both kind of making for the holidays. Um, I don't know about your family, but we're kind of all about traditions. What are some of your favorite holiday traditions, guys? What are some of the things that your family always cooks? Um, make sure to comment and let us know. I'm going to show you now. Um, this is my family's lasagna recipe, which I've just kind of adapted over the years. Um, so how my family traditionally makes is it, it makes it is with ricotta and some eggs, and then you layer that all with the, the noodles and the sauce. Um, so what I actually did a couple years ago, Mario Vitale was on the show, and he made a lasagna, and he used bechamel sauce. And um, I really like the way that that makes a lasagna because it keeps it really nice and moist and creamy. It's really delicious. So kind of changed up the family recipe. And and now I make it with a bechamel sauce. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this is just, 
um, equal parts butter and flour. And like we always say, this is the basis for like a gravy or a cream or a cheese, a creamy cheese sauce. So basically kind of all I'm making. So I just took um, about six tablespoons of butter, six to seven tablespoons of flour, and then I'm gonna slowly whisk in some room temperature um, whole milk, about four or five cups. Um, Debbie said happy holidays from Minnesota. Hi Debbie, Hi, happy Debbie. holidays to you too. And Gail said, okay, I I don't know if that's a typo or if that's really how many cookies no. she made, but Gail said last weekend her and her family made 15,000 cookies, is that right? That's incredible. That's incredible, um, Gail. As gifts for a military family. Oh, that's Gail, so that's sweet. so nice. Gail, you're a much better person than <laughs> 15, everyone. 15,000 cookies? That's crazy. That's so many cookies. Um, Jennifer said baking is the best part of the holidays. Oh, Jennifer. Jennifer. I love to that's bake. so nice. Um, and Denise says hi from Casper, Wyoming. Hello, Denise. Um, and Rebecca can't wait for our favorite pecans. Is that your friend Rebecca? Well, oh, oh yeah. it is, and Oliver. Yeah, Hi, Rebecca. Rebecca. And Ollie and Nashville. <laughs> Hi, guys. It is, yeah. They'll be up, I think, on Saturday. They'll get their Jimmy's Holiday Pecans. Um, all right, so I'm just whisking this to make sure you get all the lumps out. I kind of do it slow, a little bit slower so that you don't end up with a like a chunky sauce. You want all those yeah. um, lumps to be out and whisk that. And then you just let this come up to a bubble. And like we said, this is kind of the basis for a lot of, this is like a, a roux basically. And then you can add cheddar cheese to this and mix it with um, pasta and that's macaroni and cheese. Or you can add Parmesan to this and make it the glue in your lasagna. <laughs> Crystal commented and said that she loves making bechamel. Yeah, it's yeah bechamel. like you're saying, it's a really great sauce. So versatile, use, exactly. Um, and join us as Merry Christmas and have a safe one from oh, San Antonio. Hi, Joanna. One of our coworkers, Kate's from San Antonio as well. Um, and my mom commented. She hi, said Pam. That, uh, we're making shrimp and grits in honor of our oh, time in South Oh, that sounds so good, Pam. I wish I was coming for Christmas. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm just going to let this come up to a bubble. And then once it comes to a bubble, I have to grab some nutmeg as well. I'm going to add in about three cups of Parmesan cheese because that's the best. Ooh, Jean said she loves fruitcakes. I oh, actually made a bunch fun. of fruitcakes um, for the holidays. You did. And I did this thing. I, I don't. Tell I me read about it. it, and I was like, <laughs> I should try this. But you basically make a uh, fruitcake. I made it a month ago, and then every day I sprayed it with some brandy, so it's like a brandy aged fruitcake. It was pretty good. It was delicious. Yeah, yeah. it was just really funny because it like takes literally it takes thirty days to make it. Um, it's not a thirty minute meal. <laughs> no, not at all. It's the opposite of that. Um, and Tammy says hi from Belleville, Ontario. Hello, Tammy. Happy Thank holidays. You. All right, so we're just gonna let this thicken up, come to a bubble, and then I said I'm gonna put the cheese in, and I'm gonna show you the whole layering process for the lasagna while Grant gets started on his beef. All right, so um, down here, I'm gonna get started on something that I may be making for Christmas. This is just a really fun holiday dish. Um, this is a rosemary and mustard crust, mustard crusted um, beef. But the thing I love about this is the sauce that I'm about, about to show you um, is a really great rub for any type of meat. You can put this on a pork loin, you can put it on a pork tenderloin, you can put it on beef or on chicken, um, pretty much anything. And it's just, you know, kind of embodies everything that I love about Christmas in one little rub. So here I just have a bunch of rosemary and I'm just gonna chop that up, and make it nice and fine. I'm gonna throw it into a bowl um, with just a couple of tablespoons of Dijon mustard. There's one, two, oh, that's like the whole jar. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to add in a couple of cloves of garlic. I'm just going to grate it nice and fine on one of these little um, rasps. I guess that's what they're called, right? A rasp? A rasp, a rasp. is the tiny one, right? It is, yes. Okay. Um, all right, Charlene commented in and she said that she's making mom's banana pudding. I love banana pudding. Oh, I love banana pudding. Ooh, you made banana puddings over the summer when we were doing a Facebook Live yes. in these cute little mason jars. Oh, I love um, that recipe, and as well as all of these fun recipes for Christmas uh, dinners and um, presents are going to be up on the Facebook page just a little bit later. We want to say hi. Thank you, Nancy, for commenting. And from Chile, Chicago, oh, yeah. it is just so cold outside I right know. now. <laughs> Especially in Chicago. I used oh, to live in Chicago. And looking at you guys walking down the street in your giant bundled up gloves <laughs> and sweaters and scarves, I'm not envious yeah. of it anymore. I think it was nine in my car this morning. It yeah. is polar vortex for real right now. Um, so I added a little bit of salt and pepper to this. Um, and now this is our rub for the beef. But like I said, you can put this on any sort of meat. Um, so I have right here, this is a three pound um, beef tenderloin. And I'm gonna season it with a tablespoon of salt, which might seem like a lot of salt, but this is a pretty, pretty big piece of meat. Yeah. And you wanna make sure you put enough salt on there to kind of permeate through all of it. Mm. So yummy. And this also makes a nice crust on the outside it too. Does. Denise commented and she says that she makes baked goods for all her neighbors and friends. Denise, we totally agree with you. Like I think a food gift is always so nice. It's funny, I'm gonna show you how to make my lasagna. That's always like my baby gift too, when my friends always have baby when they, whenever they have babies yeah. or like, you know, if somebody's like um just like overwhelmed at work, I'll make you a lasagna and send it over. There's nothing better than having yeah. some nice food in the But luckily fridge. for me today, I don't have to have a baby to have your you lasagna. You don't have to have a baby. He needs to eat it. <laughs> so um, you, know, baby. you can also give this piece of beef for a gift. Why not? <laughs> The gift of beef. Who doesn't love the, the gift of beef? 
Catherine says that her husband loves pecan pie and that um, her that he really enjoyed your pecan uh, cake Ooh, the yeah. other day. Was that a That's one so skillet fun. one? Yeah, thanks for making that. That's yeah, that so was nice. a one skillet um, pecan, pe uh, pecan cake that I did. It was so for, good. Um, Thanksgiving. Mm. And now you just rub this um, this beef with all the mustard That's and beautiful. rosemary and garlic. Um, now the fun thing about this, I'm just going to throw this one into the oven. Uh, but you could definitely use this as a marinade. You could wrap this Ooh, up in some like plastic that. wrap and let it sit overnight um, in the fridge. Um, I'm actually just going to cook it all in one big sheet tray um, with some Brussels sprouts because I love Brussels sprouts around the holidays. I My love brothers how, both love Brussels sprouts. I know. Yeah. Brussels sprouts are so yummy. I love how simple yet elegant that is. Like yeah, I feel it. like, you know, it's only a few ingredients for the rub, but I think that that's really, really... Yeah, it, absolutely. It's, it's, when he told me what he was making, I was like, wow, that sounds very fancy. I know. It sounds fancy. <laughs> it looks really fancy, and it tastes really fancy, too. There's just a it's couple ingredients. Fancy. I know. Very we want to say hi to Barbara and Merry Christmas from Salt Lake City. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. And Melody says she loves baking all year round, and Christmas is a very special time. We agree, Melody. Um, so I'm just going to push all these sprouts to the side and top our beef down right in the middle. I like that. Um, actually, on Thursday's show, one of our really good girlfriends here in the kitchen, Cloda McKenna, um, from Ireland, she has a bunch of these recipes. What I love about this, Grant, is that there's like hardly a dish to do. After, you know, you're putting it all on one sheet tray. It's kind of what we call it here, one and done. Yeah. Um, Cloda, our good friend from Ireland. Hi, Cloda. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Um, she has uh, three really great recipes on Thursday's show, so make sure you catch those as well yeah. as Grant's. And that if you put really it on amazing. foil, you barely have to wash anything. Yeah, exactly. It's super simple. You know how I feel about doing dishes. <laughs> all right. So I took the beef off of here and I let it rest nice. on the cutting board. Ooh. You want to make sure you let them rest, the beef know. rest so it's nice and you juicy. Um, now these are just the Brussels sprouts that are nice and roasted. So they kind crispy. of soak up all the pan dishes. Mm -hmm. But I want to dress them a little bit too. Oh, I wasn't um, supposed to take a bite yet. <laughs> well, these are they are perfect the way they are. You don't have to put anything else on them. But since it's the holidays, uh, I just like to put a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some maple syrup. Mm. So they're kind of like sweet and sour and they pair perfectly with like that. the salty beef. And again, not a dish to be done. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know, that. right? Um, Wanda says hi from Taft, Texas. Hello, Wanda. Happy holidays. Hello, Kathy Wanda. says hi from Mount Pearl, Newfoundland. Hello, Kathy. Ooh. And Kinley says hi from Asheville, North Carolina. I've been trying to get to Asheville, North Carolina. That's I like know, one of those really kind cool. of fun, trendy places. Lots of great restaurants and stuff. Yeah. Um, Alicia said that she makes mommy's ham, which is cherries, pineapple, and brown sugar. Oh, that sounds so good. I, I do love a ham. Oh, me holidays. too. I it's love so, so yummy. Ham for the holidays, ham baby. Ham for the holidays. Oh, Grant, that's so yummy. Oh, yeah. It's so good. good. All right, cool. Let me show you the beef. I've had it um, rested back here for, I don't know, who knows how long. But you should let it rest for about 15 minutes. Lovely. Um, and here it is. Oh, that looks good. Um, and I just like to let it rest, like I said, and then I'm going to slice it super, super thin. And we'll nice. serve it just like Excellent. that. Excellent. Should I get started on my lasagna? Yeah, start on All that. Right. We want to say hi. For, over from Team Rachel's Facebook page, our friend Jen commented. Hi, Jen. She said it looks great. Happy holidays to you. And Brittany said, glad to see you again. We can never have enough Grant and Jeanette, Brittany. That is so, so kind. Very sweet. Oh, great. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Look Very pretty. perfectly cooked. All right, guys. So it's layering time for the lasagna. And um, what you do, it's funny. I always get a box of these no-boil lasagna noodles. And I find that they are like one of the best kept secrets. Are they still a secret? I don't know. I love using them because I've made lasagna. I'm, I'm in my 30s. I've made lasagna for years and years and years. And we always like boiling the noodles. They fall over the pot. These are such a saving grace. They're so, so easy to use. I always have like 10 or 12 of them in my pantry because you never know when you need to bust out a lasagna. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, first you start layering in about like a 9 by 13 pan. And then I always start. Oh, I always read the back of the box because I always mess up my lasagna. Uh, layering. You can't really mess it up, but I've like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it right, right now. All right, so you start with a little bit of sauce at the bottom of the pan. And then, because you want, it's kind of the moisture in the sauces that are what cooks the noodles in the oven. So I should put about maybe like a cup or a cup and a half of sauce right in the bottom. And then I start layering with our no boil lasagna noodles. Uh, my mom commented and said, you're going to make this on Christmas Day. Oh, how nice. Yeah, I guess I am. I guess you are. Fine. Um, speaking of lasagna, um, today on the show we did a five, four, three, two, one show. Oh, yeah, Rachel did. made a five-ingredient oh, fake ziti, fake ziti. Yes, which she was did. so good. It's one of those things where like you eat it and you're like, I can't believe this is only five ingredients because oh, it was incredible and it's super simple. And it really took her like five minutes. It really to make did. It so fast. Um, Grant actually was on the show today. It was such a fun recipe. He made an eggnog granita, yes. which yeah. I texted him this morning and said we should start calling a Grant Eda. I, yeah, because I really like yeah, that. Isn't that fun? A Grant. I don't know why we didn't think about that <laughs> until after the fact, but um, that was really fun. Who, I mean, Grant's always coming up with one ingredient desserts, and I never understand how you do it, but they're always fa fabulous, especially when they're topped with bourbon and two ingredients. Oh yeah, we added a special <laughs> ingredient, and it was bourbon. It was bourbon. 
All right, guys, so I'm layering up my lasagna. So in my head, I'm singing sauce, noodles, bechamel, cheese, because that's the order that I like to You go. don't have to sing it in your head. I can sing it out loud. Sing it out loud. <laughs> For all to hear. Um, Steve commented that he makes mom's chicken dish dish with uh, Canadian bacon, dried Ooh. beef, and mushroom sauce. Yeah. That sounds delicious. You guys have some great family recipes. Um, and Ketty commented and said, ho, ho, ho. Hi, Ketty. Hi, Ketty. She's from Aurora, Aurora, Colorado. Aurora, Colorado. Hello. Um, Jennifer says it's her tradition um, to make her brother's prime rib and Yorkshire pudding. Ooh, Yorkshire pudding. I made that one year, like the big popovers. Yeah. It's so impressive. Yeah. It, it, it's not the most timely dish to make because you have to like wait for everything. You're draining the fat, but it's really, really impressive. I like yeah. that one. All right. I'm going to keep layering. Um, here. And Vivian com commented and said, my family looks forward to peanut butter pie for the Ooh. holidays. You're just talking about a peanut butter pie. I was just talking pie. about a peanut butter pie. I've got some um, vegan friends coming over for a vegan Christmas on um, Friday. And I thought that'd be like a nice dessert. Something easy, no yeah, bake. Totally. You know me, I don't bake. <laughs> Can you write me a no bake peanut butter recipe? <laughs> peanut butter pie. All right. So you just layer this up. You just keep going. Um, I added in those um, couple cups of Parmesan cheese to the sauce, so it's like really nice and creamy. Yeah. You just keep going with that. I'm going to show you what the final one looks like, and it's not hot because. What you do, my other biggest tip here is the giant lasagna. And again, like this all takes a couple minutes to pull together. A great tip is to make it the night before because that actually softens the no-bake noodles. Mm. And then it, like, when you cut it, it tastes like fresh pasta. Like I don't understand yeah. how they do it. They're magic noodles. So um, what you do is you bake it well before your guests come over. You top it with a little bit of basil. Make it well before your guests come over and then so that it makes it easier to slice. Because um, you don't want to be cutting like a molten hot lasagna that's yeah. like a disaster. So here's also some... when it's hot, it kind of falls apart. Exactly, too, exactly. Kind of this has you been spend all this time making layers, so you want it to exactly. look pretty. So I, I took this out of the oven about maybe an hour, an hour and ten minutes ago. But look, it's going to slice up really, really nicely. I'll cut us a nice big corner piece. Yeah. <laughs> Ellen commented and said that she makes deviled Swiss steak, scallop potatoes, green beans, salad rolls, and chocolate pie. Ellen, my goodness. That's fun. I love hearing what people make for Christmas because too. for Thanksgiving, we all kind of make the same exactly. thing. Like we're all making mashed exactly. potatoes and turkey and stuffing. Um, but for Christmas, everybody has their own little traditions. So it's kind of fun. All right, here she play. comes, guys. Look Ooh, at that yeah. really thick, yummy slice of lasagna. I think we should try it. And I like this Christmas meal we just made. <laughs> lasagna with Brussels sprouts and some roasted beef. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at how beautifully that's cooked in the center, Grant. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. my gosh. That looks so, so yummy. Can we, can we give each other's a try? Oh, yeah. Here. Trade these. And I like that we're using plastic We're using plastic. Hey, <laughs> there's one more tip for the holidays. Don't do dishes. Use plastic utensils and and, uh, and plates. You have more Save time to open time. presents that way. <laughs> exactly. Here. You want to see Grant's beautiful um, pork. Oh, sorry. I keep saying pork. Beef Ooh, tenderloin. Is, is it yummy? Tastes yeah. just like grandma. <laughs> I love the bechamel and it makes it so creamy. So creamy. Never dries out. It's really good. And mm. like I said, I mean, that's actually probably been sitting for the perfect amount of time, an mm -hmm. hour. So it's still warm and gooey in the middle. Also, yeah, pass it with some warm. hot sauce at the table, too. If it, you know, if you leave it out yeah. for longer than an hour. Or you can just go sit by the fireplace and warm it up. <laughs> warm it up. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Uh, Christine commented and said hi from Manchester, hi. New Hampshire. Um, and Jim, Jim said on Christmas Eve... Uh, they make the Feast of Fishes, yeah. and they're on Chris Christmas Day, an Asian buffet. Oh, That's so fun. Nice. Our friend VJ is doing the Feast of Fishes. She's doing all of it this year. Which is a very intimidating thing, I think, but I she's know. pretty confident. I, she's going to do great. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Lorraine commented and said Aberdeen, uh, from Aberdeen, Scotland, Hello, and said that Lorraine. she loves our show. Oh, thank you. Thanks, That's Lorraine. Nice. Happy holidays. Um, and Tamara said, what is your favorite Christmas memory? Oh, wow. Tamara, mm. really going, I don't know. What's your what's um, I think probably one of my favorite things around Christmas, I got a dog for Christmas one year. <gasps> Her name oh, was Maddie. Mind. She was this giant Bernese Mountain mm. dog. And I got a trampoline once, too. That was pretty cool. But I think the dog trumps trampoline, for I... sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, but yeah, the dog was pretty awesome. But the dog wasn't there. It was um, our parents had purchased this dog, but only had pictures of, like their parents. And then I have two brothers, so we all opened an envelope, and there was like a picture of a dog in each one. It was... Oh, my God. Nice. See, nowadays, those videos go viral when yeah. kids get, like, fun surprises. This pre-viral video. Pre-viral video, I know. I got engaged a few days before Christmas. That's probably my favorite Christmas memory. Four years ago now. Yeah. That happened a long time ago. Um, Kinley says, Grant, come to Asheville and cook Christmas dinner. All right. <laughs> I'm coming, Kinley. <laughs> um, well, thank you guys for watching today. Yeah. Um, so we made three or four really awesome things, two really great gifts. They have my dad's um, peanut butter buckeyes, mm. um, Jimmy's uh, pecans, which Jeanette made today, um, Jeanette's lasagna, and then this mustard crusted rosemary beef. All these things are really delicious. great and super easy to make for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Um, Cassandra commented and said that she's making barbecue ribs and macaroni yeah. for Christmas dinner. Ooh, yum. Sounds like a delicious southern feast. I love feast. macaroni. I know. Um, and Judy commented and said, Merry Christmas from K 
Kemla. Kemla, I don't know. Hello, Judy. Well, thank you guys for watching today. All these or all these recipes will be up on the Facebook page later today, yes, so make sure you come check it out. Jeanette and I will be back in the new year making some really yummy, healthy dishes. Uh, but we have some great shows coming up on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so make sure you watch the Rachel Ray Show and check those mm -hmm. out. But if you like what you saw today, make sure you like, comment, share, and cook. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Merry Happy Christmas. Holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> all of the all things. Of this. Great. This is so yummy. Thanks. Mm.